So hello and welcome to uh, Film Mixologist. Um, I keep working on the <laughs> ever, ever, ever plodding on project of, of the Lissity. And today, as you can see, I've installed the magneto already. I didn't, I didn't make a video as I was going through each step by step. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of... Uh, I'll, I'll show you the, kind of the main issues. Uh, that I run that, that I run into um, and especially because on this particular occasion remember that that in a previous video I had to find top dead center with a dial test indicator because my flywheel hasn't got a mark for top dead center so I needed to make my own mark and that also turned out to be quite good also for setting up the mag so let me just kind of bring you around with, with, with the camera and show you and, sh and show you all the process uh, that I did. Okay, so so as you can see, I've got I've, I've got the thing installed just just like that. So I've got the spark plug. Actually, I tested it and uh, and it does spark, but I knew that. But it's, it's always good good to double test it. Now. <coughs> As you can see, this is this is the the connection from the from the from the crankshaft, so to speak, <coughs> that drives the sprocket here. Now, as you can see here, there is a a, a repair I had to do because some of the um, back of the, the shaft kind of had snapped off. So I basically drilled a hole. And now this the the nut is secured by by this, and the sprockets have been uh, treated using chemical blacking. So now I know that they're not gonna kind of rust away or anything. Um, chain <coughs> chain is brand new, um, so so there is the, there is a little bit of slack in the chain, but I don't know how much. I think I think that should be good enough, uh, and then uh, on here on the base, the base needs to have a kind of not painted, and I put one of the shims that the mag came with. I mean, it came with two, but the other one was completely unserviceable, so I had to, so I had to just put the one, and over here you can see the points and how they are set up now what i need to do now um, is change the orientation of the cam of the orientation of the engine because i need to show you how i achieved um, the timing uh, on this particular unit and it's better if i flip the unit around so just give me a sec okay so as, as, as you can see, if I move this like this, you get movement on the chain there. So now I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna kind of bring you closer up to show you the way that I achieved the timing. So you'll remember from a previous video that what I tried to do is I tried to achieve, achieve the timing mark that was using a dial test indicator, and it's basically this mark here aligning it with here so if I move the the assembly this way <coughs> like so there we've got top dead center so the timing in this engine is 20 degrees before top dead center and how how did I achieve that okay so what I did was I measured the circumference uh, of this with was uh, with with that particular measuring the, it was it was like a flexible uh, measuring tape and it was 12 centimeters and if 12 centimeters is um, or, or 120 mil if if that is 360 degrees then I wanted to calculate how much was 20 degrees before top the center so therefore I made another mark there basically it was 6.6 .6 millimeters uh, before it, sorry bef 
because the rotation is like that so therefore this is before top dead center and therefore because the because the camshaft rotates this way so therefore if i if i did see si i did 6.6 .6 millimeters um of, of of rotation compared to the center here and that gave me my 20 degrees before top dead center so once i've got that what i needed to do is uh, and i'll show you what it looks like uh, on the other side but basically this sprocket i had fixed to the magneto and this one i didn't so what i did is i positioned the magneto so that it was just about opening on the points and i then fixed i secured this sprocket so that it would move in time with the 20 degrees before top dead center so now i'm going to show you what it looks like on the other side okay so now we're looking at it from the front side of the engine and and as you can see here the points are are, are closed at the moment but they're just about to open and you can see it here obviously i'm going to move the cam slightly you see there it opened open close so therefore it means that and this corresponds to my timing mark there so i am kind of 6.6 .6 mil away from this timing mark so i know that the timing is is okay uh, as it is now uh, and I mean, I might be one or two degrees off, but not a million miles away from there. The other thing that I had to do also was um, that I did that I did using the um, well the, the 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 hand crank. Basically, what I did is I I um, I checked the the timing i.e. that as i go through the revolutions that i'm getting inlet exhaust and then the spark so i i, I didn't do it very I, I wasn't like cranking away or anything because the engine hasn't got any oil so you need to be really careful so i'm, I'm i didn't i didn't go crazy on on any rotations or anything but i just wanted to you know double check anything so everything so now now I've, I've, got, I've got to the stage where I got, I got fuel, I got spark, and well, basic fuel, basic spark. And now what I need to do is I need to install the flywheel, the exhaust, the fuel tank, and and a couple of other bits and bobs. For example, here at the back of the engine, <coughs> there is a drain. Uh, there is a drain cock uh, to, to, to get obviously to get rid of the water um, so if I do all those bits and bobs then that means that this engine will be ready to fire up uh, relatively soon uh, which is good because this project has been going on for a while um, so next episode is probably going to be flywheel and I'll show you uh, all the processes and everything I had to do with the flywheel uh, but for now is goodbye and I'll see you in the next episode thanks for watching